What's up YouTube, Brick Blair Payton back with another video. Today, I believe this is my third Pirates of America Bay video. Kinda getting tedious, not gonna lie. But I'm continually fi finding new ways to do stuff with my set and I just wanna make what I can do best for my set in display wise. And here I have another alternate build I found on the internet. Um, I, I, wait, hold up, I gotta pull it up one sec. It's 21322 Dock and Islands by Karel0108. You can find this design on rebrickable.com. Uh, actually, hold up. This ain't actually the same design. I actually have it pulled up right here on a separate device. And ads. Can I get rid of that? Well, this is what it's supposed to look like right here, like right here. It's the original island, and you can see, like, sorry, technical difficulties. My internet is really bad. Uh, but like, this was supposed to be the original island, and there was like a smaller one right there, and like something else right, and then two other separate islands. This island, I believe, is still the same. I have it in the background over there. Sorry if my lighting's a little off. My ca camera's been readjusting a lot. Um, but you can actually find this free design on re rebrickable.com. And you can just, or you can look it up on Google and it'll probably link a site. But I found that design and I, mo I modded it a bit because the islands were getting less quality as they went on and like the last few parts were like really crappy in my opinion nothing to like nothing to um sorry i want to say like a pose cues nothing to like discourage the original builder that's what that's the word i was going for sorry um, not to the scourge of the original builder, he did a really great job making this, the original islands, but I just think I might have done a tiny bit better of a job, in my opinion. Like I said, this isn't just my original idea. I just tweaked it here and there. The The dock is still the same. I changed the house and the islands, though. Like, I connected this island to the main dock and got rid of the second island completely and just threw the extra parts in the back, because... That was just, I believe he was just trying to use up all his spare pieces, and I he gets an A for effort, at least. Um, but all right, here, I'll just, like, dive into it. Um, this is going to be, like, a two-part video. I'm going to examine this island, the islands, and then some stuff I tweak for the ship. Actually, I might do the ship right now. So, we scoot these over to the side, and just get them out of the way. bring the ship over and the first thing you're going to notice is I removed the cannons to bolt from below decks and put them back above decks and also you can see that there's three cannons the fourth one is hiding somewhere I'll show you later in the video but the complete story is over the weekend I was contemplating for my uh, last video my blog video first of all I did take the farm's first battle packs tips and tricks video down even though it got 56 views but I just didn't find any way because I knew it was going to get any more. So yeah, that, that video is down. You're probably not going to even know what I'm talking about because it's not going to be there. But I used to have a Fire First Battle Pack Tips and Tricks video. It is now gone. And now back to this. I did like I built back the Barracuda Bay Island also. Don't worry about the fort. It's still holding up in the background. It's, and I have it in storage or on my bookshelf in case I want to rebuild back the the, like the fort dock but i reinstalled the portholes in every single one of them there's two should be enough um i just made the ship in like its purest form and then tinkered with it a little bit the interior is the same as the set if you have the set you should, you know what i'm talking about if you don't there's like a bedroom like like two bunks and then an inn admittedly not a good inn but hey it's still a great set and I put three cannons on the ship, one, one on the top deck, deck and two on the main deck. Uh, 
But yeah, that's basically like all I did this ship. The sails are the same. There's nothing up with the crow's nest because it's out of camera. Um, but the one thing I did add, you might have noticed in the background, is a rowboat attached to the back. I honestly, this I also found on the internet. And it uses only like a, a couple extra pieces and you have to like rip off some lampposts. But because I was mod modding with the island back there, I was completely fine with that. And there goes my oar. But yeah. So also, yeah, I made a duplicate pirate boat. So I have one over there and then one over here. They're completely identical. They're the same pieces. I just pulled some out of the husky and took this flag off the top of the ship. Which also he doesn't, you can't even know what's missing unless you know what's missing. Um, but like, it's just a little thing to hook up your rowboat to the back because the one, the one I put on deck it is, can't be fit with the cannons on top. And who knows, I might build back my original gun deck. All right, sorry, the full story is I tried uh, to mod the, both the island and the ship more. So I tried to put a gun deck on the ship and I stupendously failed spectacularly. Like, I saw an image, I saw one image on Google, on Google nonetheless. I tapped on the image to go to the website, and it was a, it was a comment for a different build I was looking at earlier. It was just, like, something for the gun deck, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. So I tried to build it, and I had zero idea what I was doing. I was getting pretty confident at the end, but then I just found out that the cannons wouldn't even fit in whatever that gun deck image is. If you, if you look it up on Google, like, a like I said, um, 21322, uh, ship gun deck mod, you'll probably find the first image that'll pop up is probably like a four gun deck. They probably remove the wall in the back, but yeah, like I prefer mine just because it's more simple and they had to use pieces from the island to make it work. So yeah, that's why my, I, yeah, I just had a catastrophe of a weekend. Like, I spent my whole weekend just trying to fix the set and, like, unfix it and redo much, a lot more stuff. But anyway, back to the video. The boat is still there. The boat's still the same. I'm still going to be displaying it. I actually built back the island into the original form and, like, tore the boat into three pieces. But, like, after that, I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm just going to, like, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to do anything again. I'm just done with modding the set. This is probably the last video I'll make for this again. I might mention it in a future blog. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, back to the to this stuff. I'll actually get... Uh, first off, I'll just get the tiny island out. It's a really simple design. It's the first thing I built off the guy's original stuff. I did I did do some tweaks here and there. Like, real, barely noticeable stuff. But yeah, it's just basically an island. I added a rock. There's one palm tree, one set of leaves. And yeah, that's basically it. It's just these round plates all the way around a tree sticking out of the bottom yeah that's just that moving on to the main island or islands is we have one sand island and you can't really tell but there is some rock island i mean if i flip this around i'll show you later that there's rock but moving on to like the right side i guess right side first um you have like this really simple island design um I did this little dock piece I did add on to, to like connect them. Um, but yeah, there's just some like some flowers here and there. There's coconuts. The, th this is like the exact same design as the other guys, except I like added the, the dock to it. That's like all I did. And I took out like a rock that was supposed to be like here or something. I, don't, I forgot. But yeah, there's a sand pit with the crab and like something really weird when I was building this is I thought there was going to be like a buried treasure play feature because you can actually like lift up the whole top section and underneath is just the wood plates that aren't being used. And I was like, whoa, is he going to like have a play feature with like buried treasure? But no, it's just wood plates and he was running out of pieces. So apparently he just covered them up by like putting a crab and and there i added the bananas and there's one on this palm tree so yeah this one has two stacks this one has three obviously this one has coconuts this one does not but yeah it's just a really simple thing there's foliage on that side there's some shells in a, like a sea an enemy or something whatever it's called it's like a mollusk whatever um sorry if my voice is cracking i have um <clears throat> 
not been feeling well, but it's also like my normal voice. Because I have like a really deep, cracked voice. Let me just shove that out of the way. And to the main part of the island is like the hut. This is where I greatly defected from his build. The dock is still the same. The Like every dock leg you're going to see under here if you try to build this. I actually do recommend it. It's not that hard. It's a pretty simple and cool build. Uh, and then, like I said, the instructions are free on like other people who are like, hey, six dollars and you can and you can get instructions for the set you already paid two hundred dollars for and i think that's flipping bs because those people i don't like i like their ideas but let us like make the stuff our like for free like that's what the lego community is about not money i know people are trying to get like rich off the backs of off, off, like doing stuff like in my slave one video i said like there's the a a great builder you get have to pay like six dollars to get the design the instructions but like like i don't want to pay six dollars for instructions alone and they're flipping online pdfs and you get to and you get sent a link a link for six dollars is not okay i'm ranting right now but honestly i don't care because honestly i'm fired up about that and i haven't been fired up in, about that in a long time and I'm literally just talking to a camera right now, and whoever's watching this video. Oh, by the way, I meant, I, I meant to say this in my previous videos, but I always forget. Thank you for watching my channel. If you're watching this video right now, thank you for watching. I know there's probably a hundred other LEGO YouTubers, but th thank you for choosing my channel to watch right now. And if you're watching the whole cha the whole video, thanks. Please check out my other videos. I know that sounds like self-promotion, and it is, but hey, I just like, I hit, I, I'm, I'm almost at 20 subs. I know that sounds like a little, but that's a lot for me. And to this build, I wanted to add some play features of my own because the guy didn't really have much. He had, like, some really big chairs, and it was, like, a cage. Oh, yeah, like, this whole right side of the building is just open. Like, that's just open space with a ladder. So, basically, you can just park, climb up, boom. Like, yeah, that's the whole back is just open. I'm just remove the little hole from the place now. And the ramp back down. But yeah, like I try to add some foliage and wood plank designs. Uh, you can see that I added the thing from the uh, boat from the actual island. This piece, like this stuff right here, this this area, is from the set from island. It's like the island boarded up window. There is a door right here, and you can see a little red poking out right there. And there's the cannon inside. And you're wondering why is the cannon inside? That's my fourth cannon I have. So I'm like, why is the cannon inside? And I'm going to tell you this. So I said I want play features, and I give you play features. Uh, there's not much There's not much interior. I'm going to just take the cannon out right now. But, like, say... You know, I'm going to just pick a guy off the ship, like this guy. And there's, like, there's two people. Like, sorry if I'm being going to be ridiculous. I'm going to channel my inner child in here. So you have two people in there, and they're like, oh, hey. Smack, smack, smack. Fight, fight. And then I know this sounds really stupid. Oh my gosh, there it is. That goes the hang skeleton. Uh, but there's like the kid throws the guy out the window. So the thing can just pop off, off the two hinges it's attached to. And you can just throw it to the ground. Boom. Like there, some playability features. I, I just thought of that while I was building. And I was like, why the heck not make that a play feature? I mean, I, I, I like, I'm, this is still the same guy who says spring-loaded shooters are a bad addition to LEGO sets, and they still are. But I, I like play features in sets. Like, they, they add some fun to, like, the... or Like, I know LEGOs are not just, like, adult like construction stuff. They're, like, kids' toys. But, like, it's just fun having some play features, even in sets that don't really need them. And also, you can poke the cannon out if you want. All right, I, I just, I'm cringing at what I just did right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> but hey, that was fun. I haven't really done that in a long time. I don't really play with stuff anymore. I just pose and build and that's all I do. Uh, But yeah, you can like, you can reattach it. There's like, sorry, hold up. Get out of the way. So how I, like how you attach it is that you can see there's two studs here and here. You attach them to these points right here, here and here. Flip. Also, there's, like, this to hold it in place also, because it, like, fits right snug in there. And then, boom, it's, like, it's completely held in there. Shove the cannon back in through the, through the hole. Like, why is there a hole? He ran out of pieces, and there's just a hole. 
even in his, in his original build, like, there's no back to the set. Like, that's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna, like, do a full 360 for this build. Oh, yeah. Like I said earlier, hang skeleton. Fallen skeleton, I just added this, because why not? I'll probably just throw it off camera, put that right there. Um, I don't have to, like, pick the camera up for this, sorry. Turning this thing around to get a better look at some stuff. Sorry, camera stand being a little funky. I tried upgrading my camera stand for some, some no reason at all. And I just made it worse. And also, mind you, it's still the same camera stand out of the Razor Crest. Um, also, one more thing to say is thank you so much for everyone who wa watched my last video and actually commented and gave, gave me like their opinions. There were like three people that did that, and that's still like the most comments I've gotten on a single video. And like there was, they were being really supportive. Thank you, thank you, those people. If you're watching those vi this video, thank you. Um, I'm not gonna say your names in case you want privacy and all that, viewer disclosure and all that. Uh, but in the back of this, you can see that there's the rocky island landscape. Uh, there's like a there's like a rake hung up on the back. You can see the ladder now, just right up the cannon. And you can see there's a staircase leading to the roof, and you might be wondering, why is the re- Oh, yeah, I forgot, sorry. Forgot to show y'all that the roof can be detachable, so if you want, like, a full view of inside, there you go. There's just a barrel, a crate, and a cannon. <laughs> so you, like, reattach the roof. It's attached by a couple studs and plates, and plates with studs. And for more playability, I have- whoops- Sorry, not not a pop off leaf, a pop off vine. Sorry, a pop up trap door to lead inside in case you want like go through the roof or something. Because why not? Then there's a ladder leading to the roof for that playability to work. And I just knocked off leaves, and why I'm just wrecking everything. Why are my hands so big? I just built different. And in the back, you can see like there's a rocky outcrop. Crop. There's the pig right here. This guy, this, all right. This this right here is the pig. He put that there. But this like little shack thingy, whatever. Like this wood plating. I added that. Like his build was just this. And I'm not gonna ask. And I realized just now what that brown stuff is supposed to be. And yeah, good job, mate. <laughs> So yeah, I had back my little like shack stand up, stand up shack, whatever. There's like a pig on an island. And I'm I'm not even gonna question that. But yeah, like that's basically everything. There are some barrels there. I added some more plank designs. There are some lanterns here and there. I put the Jose's in sign on because just for why not? And yeah, like that's my video for my third Pirates Barry Bay video, and hopefully one of my last. Probably not the last, but if I get desperate in the future, I don't know. I'll just probably just make another Pirates Bear Could Bay video. But yeah, thank you for thank you for watching the video. If you if you liked it, please like and subscribe. It'll really help my channel out a lot. And check out my other videos; they're pretty cool too. And they're not the best, like I say, but they're not bad. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all later.